CICU Devise Us. Impella, Chapter 1, Physics and Physiology, Part 2. The Impella catheter can estimate the left ventricular pressure and display a real time curve, as well as estimate the left ventricular and diastolic pressure. As explained in our previous video, the current required to maintain the rotation speed depends mainly on the pressure difference between the two cavities. Pressure difference is highest during diastole and minimal during systole. So the current varies throughout the cardiac cycle based on this pressure gradient, with a small lag or hysteresis. In these graphs, we can observe the relationship between current and flow, and between pressure difference and flow for a specific rotational speed or P level. In this one, the relationship between pressure difference and current consumed by the device is represented. The consumed current has an almost linear inverse relationship with the pressure gradient. Therefore, there is a variation in the consumed current between diastole and systole. Knowing this, the company has designed an algorithm that relates the instantaneous pressure in the aorta with the current used by the motor to estimate the pressure of the left ventricle. But this estimation is only reliable at high rotation speeds, equivalent to P-levels of 4 or higher. The console displays on the main screen the left ventricular pressure curve and its maximum and minimum values. But in the hemodynamic management of a patient, the most important parameter of the left ventricular pressure curve is the end diastolic pressure. The system detects the sudden increase in pressure that marks the beginning of systole and takes the pressure just before this change. The pressure captured corresponds quite accurately to the left ventricular and diastolic pressure. Left ventricle and diastolic pressure displayed is a mean value derived from the identified end diastolic points on the left ventricle placement signal over the past 10 seconds. In this way the console shows the value of the left ventricular and diastolic pressure and its evolution in the preceding hours on one of the display screens. Cardiac Output The Impella software can infer, based on an initial measurement, the evolution over the following hours of total cardiac output, native output, and cardiac power output. Estimation of CO is not reliable through pulse waveform during impella support. Conversely, pulse pressure appears to have a correlation with native output while on support. Engineers from the company apply an intelligent approach with this formula, where vascular state value integrates vascular resistance and vascular compliance and is assumed to remain constant for 8 hours in the same patient. Here's the step-by-step -step process. First, we need to obtain an initial measurement of cardiac output using a pulmonary artery catheter. Once we have obtained the total cardiac output value, we must calculate the native cardiac output by subtracting the impella flow at that moment from the total cardiac output. With this data, we will be able to capture the value of vascular state, Additionally, with total cardiac output, the system will calculate cardiac power output. For example, we start by measuring cardiac output with a catheter and entering the data into the console. Once the data is entered, the system will calculate the native cardiac output by subtracting the impella flow from the total cardiac output. Next, taking into account the pulse pressure at that moment, the device estimates the vascular state using the previously mentioned formula. In this way, the system will infer the native cardiac output, total cardiac output, and cardiac power output in real time over the next 8 hours using the pulse pressure data. The vascular state value is assumed to remain constant for a period of 8 hours. A new reference value from pulmonary artery catheter should be inputted every 8 hours, or if there is suspicion of a significant change in vascular state, for example due to sepsis, to be continued. If you've enjoyed our video, please press the like button and subscribe to support us so we can continue creating quality content like this.